Welcome back everybody to TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to add custom forms into your Shopify store. There's one, two, even three. There's actually a lot of solutions that you can use. But I'm going to be showing you just a couple of things that you can do in order to get started with. So the very first thing I do want to do is to make sure that I have my Shopify enabled. So check it out here. What I want to do is to add my very first form here where it says schedules. I wanted to add contact us or contact forms. So here contact us i wanted to add instead of this i wanted to add a contact form right so let's go here into the load pod i'm going to go into my online store i'm going to hit now here into my themes and go into customize inside customize let's go and go directly into my contact us section and i wanted to choose this element and i removed this section so i have removed that section so now what I want to do is to hit into add section or add a new section. I'm going to go back. I go here into add section and here I'm going to go with form. Usually we have the contact form here that we can add automatically. So as you can see, we have the contact form here. So here into my contact form, I can change these leave us your info and I can change the color scheme if I want to. So the theme settings and the custom CSS are by default already been added here. So this is one way of how we can create your contact form. The second way of how I can get started with, I'm going to just select this info. I delete this. I'm going to uh, do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to do now something else. Usually what I do is to go directly here into add my section. I go once again into contact form. And here, uh, usually, we do have an application that can be helping us to add a form. If you don't have one, I can totally suggest one called the actual MailChimp. So I can go here into Apps. I go into MailChimp Email Marketing. And this one should be helping us to create a custom contact form. So I'm going to go here into Continue to MailChimp. If you don't have a MailChimp account, you can always create one totally for free. So usually what I just do is to go here into the actual section of my website or look out here for create. And usually you can create a regular email. You can create automations, landing page or focused into sign up form. And let's go for embeamed formed. So I choose this option. I hit into begin and I get started with my new formed. For example, let's say that I have just created this one. I have this information of my form fields. I go back, I have my settings and what is the actual name, the wedding, remove CS files, and once you are finished, you hit into copy this code. And now I can go now into my online store. Let's go here into online store. Let's go into pages. Inside pages, I wanted to look out for the contact us section, which in my case, I enabled my show HTML file. I paste this file and I hit now into save. And check it out, here's the contact form that we just added from MailChimp. Of course, this is like too easy, but you can add more information uh, with your actual page as you're just getting started with. And the last solution that I can give you is to do this totally manually. So instead of just pasting any Beam code, you can just get started by adding here into the section, let's say for example, into it my table. So here I have the table number one. Another solution is the ChatGPT, a artificial intelligence application that can be helping you to do almost anything can help us to do this. So let's go for create here to send a message. Create a HTML file for a contact form where I and subject. Enter. And now I have an HTML file that I can use totally for free directly into my store. Just wait a few seconds here. I now go up, I copy this code, I go back into my store. Remember to always import the show HTML file. I paste my HTML file directly from ChatGPT, and here is my contact us form. So what I can do is just to leave all of this like that or command A, alignment, let's go center, and there we go. So as you can see, it is actually really, really simple to get started with uh, something uh, too easy. Hit into save, hit into view your page, and your page should be now uh, updated. So there we go. As you can see, it is actually really simple, and the best part 
is that this one is actually working. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools, how we can get started to adding elements here into your actual applications section of uh, Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, hopefully we can see you all next time.